Well, YouTube slash racer here. Just doing a very quick explanation on how to pick your batteries for your speed control because obviously salespeople will try and sell you what they think they can sell you. And it might not obviously be correct. First things first, if you're racing, check on the rules. Because sometimes you have to be restricted to one type of battery or whatever. In my race class, I'm restricted to a two cell, any type of two cell battery. Next step is check to make sure your speed controller has a LiPo cutoff. So it won't damage the LiPo by going too low voltage and all that. Second thing, so check on your speed controller what voltage does it stop at? Like its maximum voltage it can use. And then from there, you can pick how many cells you need for a LiPo. Each LiPo cell is 3.4 volts. Sorry, 3.6 volts. 8. 3.8. 3.8 volts, and you just add it on for every cell you add. Oops. So with this one, it's a two cells, so 7.4 volts. Now its resting voltage is about 8.4. Because there's no load, it always rests higher. Now, once you've picked that, you can pick how many cells, obviously. Then from there, you can pick your uh, capacity. Now, this is really sets how long you want to run your truck for. So if you've got a five-minute race, ten-minute race, or you're bashing for ages, things like that. Now, so obviously, that's this number here. And it's written across most packs in big white writing or big black writing, depending on the color of your pack. Now, that will tell you how much is stored inside this battery. And, that's, and this number is 6,500 milliamps per hour. So that's how much is stored in there. So if you drain this at 6.5 amps, it'll last an hour. But of course, we all know when. Don't draw anything that little. So you go to your speed controller now and check its current rating. Now mine's 120 amps. They can range anywhere between 10 to I think about 200 amps. Now obviously you need to pick a battery that's capable of putting out that much power constantly. So that is this rating here with the 90C. Now, to work it out, it's 90 times amps in your battery, so this is 6.5. That'll give you how much current this battery can put out. Now, you'll notice a lot of batteries will have a burst current one. This is to be related to your burst current of your receiver, uh, speed control. Now, with mine, I'm not quite sure. I think it's about 300-ish. So you've got to make sure you have a battery that when you times the night, the burst one by the capacity, you'll have more than enough to do it. Now don't get burst and constant mixed up because burst means it's when the maximum draw will occur and you need to make sure your battery is capable of providing that every now and then, but do not relate your burst one to your constant because if your battery is constantly performing at burst currents it will overheat and you'll probably wreck your battery. That's why you have to have it at constant and your battery has to be overrated compared to your electronic speed controller so it won't overheat and explode or swell. They're the main things about picking this. So a quick overview this voltage has to be less than your rated voltage for your speed controller. Your current rating of your battery, which is this, so 90 times the capacity of your battery in amps, not milliamps. This will give you a value of your constant draw current that you can have on your battery. That has to be higher than your rated one on your ESC. And same with burst and your burst of your ESC, they have to 
the battery has to be higher than the ESC. They're the main things about picking your battery. So pretty much this number is highest possible without going over what is rated by the speed controller. Then these two numbers as high as possible. Obviously increasing this number will increase the weight of your battery, same with this one. Increase the weight of your battery which you might not want so you have to set it and compare to what you want. But this number here will not increase the weight of your battery so bigger the better, it generally just increases the cost. And that's my review on how to pick a LiPo battery. As you guys have told, I've tried to stay away from trying to sell you anything and naming brands. It's just giving you a bit of information so you know how to pick your battery. And this is Slash Racer. If you guys want to find out more about picking batteries or building your own trucks, please subscribe. And I'm happy to give advice if you want to comment below or even send me a private message if you guys are too embarrassed about it. I don't tell anybody else about those. I'm happy to help anybody, so just subs yeah, subscribe and you might find out more. I do do reply videos for people. And best of luck with your RC and careers, your hobbies.